Let's talk a little bit about trading volume when it comes to AMC, when it comes to short squeezes and what it really means for the stock. Speaking of trading volume, AMC's current average volume today is around 45.2 million. On Wednesday of last week, volume traded at only 26 million. Today's economic downturn has made it difficult for retail investors across the entire market to fork out money to buy a stock. The lack of liquidity then triggers financial institutions to further sell assets for capital which in turn drives stocks even lower. Whether we have the means to buy stock or not is one thing, but we must take into accountability and understand why, how, and what, what triggered AMC to surge previously. Is there market manipulation occurring that leaves retail at a disadvantage? Absolutely. Should retail investors raise awareness of market injustices through activism? Without a doubt. But should we fail to take accountability due to the setbacks we're facing? Respectively, I don't think so. What's stopping AMC from squeezing today is the lack of volume from retail investors as a unit. So this ape seems to think that when the trading volume moves back up and when the retail community really starts buying in to more and more shares of AMC, that's when we could see the next massive squeeze. And that's also maybe when we can see AMC hit a new all time high. It's getting even worse on the hedge fund front guys. Goldman Sachs plans to cut hundreds of jobs. Plan layoffs follow reinstatement of annual performance reviews and a slump in Wall Street deal making. And although I think I can speak for most of us, nobody wants to see anyone lose a job. But the banks and the hedge funds need to play by the rules. They need to not be over levered. And this is what seems to be the outcome of a lot of the decisions that they've been making over the past years.